obviously you don't understand that um you know the simple fact that i am japanese duh i mean i'm pretty sure i've been saying it for hmm, the past how many videos yeah. The definition of a weeaboo is someone who is obsessed with Japan slash Japanese culture and attempts to act as if they were Japanese even though they're far from it. Welcome everybody to a brand new video. Today, this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be doing another one of these story type videos slash information kind of funny type video because honestly, I have to say this before this video starts, I've been making these type of videos for the past four or five days and I have gotten some crazy good feedback from you guys with uh, likes on the videos, uh, actual watch time, all, like, all this crazy stuff that I usually didn't get with my other videos. Even though those videos got a few more views, the likes and the support on these types of videos are so much more and that really does mean a lot to me. So I'm going to continue doing these type of videos because honestly they're so much more fun to make than what I have been doing previously. We're kind of merging a little bit with this channel, but we're gonna keep it the same as well. I do like the informational style stuff too, so stay tuned for that, but these types of videos are really fun. So let's get right into it with an actual story that actually happened to me the other day. That story goes like this. I really went to Walmart. I think I was getting some, I can't even remember what I was getting. It's, it's irrelevant anyway. I saw something that was so god awful and so uncomfortable for me to see that I honestly had to stick around and just watch these people. And what I saw was a tail. A tail that was attached to somebody who considers themselves a furry. I have never seen this before, but I followed them around and they were saying things along the lines of kawaii and senpai and all of this stuff. Therefore, I made the conclusion that they were furry weeaboos. One of the most crazy mixed breed mutts of all time. So, that being said, I was able to spot them. And so I wanted to make a video for you guys today on how I identify weeaboos in public. So we're going to go through that and I'm going to show you the few things that you need to look for when spotting weeaboos. So let's get right into the video. Duh. They will always always try to be outside for any reason whatsoever. No matter what they're doing, no matter what is going on in their life, they need to be outside with nature. <laughs> Although that's not a terrible thing, there are a few other things that we are going to get in here that are very, very strange. And the second thing you might want to look for is the fact that they will pretend to be a different race even though they're not. Specifically, with the actual description of a weeaboo, is they are obsessed with Japan culture and not just obsessed. Some of these people will actually sit at their desk, record themselves saying that they are Japanese when they're clearly, clearly not Japanese. Obviously, you don't understand that, um, you know, the simple fact that I am Japanese. Duh. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've been saying it for, hmm, the past how many videos? Yeah. Obviously, you're not Japanese, so... You wouldn't understand. So, whatever. I'm sorry you're retarded. That takes a special kind of screwed up in the head to be able to do that. The next thing that you might want to look for is anybody that has their eyes open wider than they really need them to be. Like, they'll sit here like this. They think it makes them look innocent and all of this stuff, which kind of leads me into my next spiel, which is they will act innocent and they will act clumsy 99% of the time because that is their weird culture thing that they think makes them look like they are innocent and great people. I mean, kawaii. I mean, kawaii. Tip number two, everything is kawaii. I'm gonna be kawaii today because if I'm not, senpai won't notice me. And finally, they will act like they are normal, and everybody else is the weirdos. Trouble certainly found him, and when that fight broke out, he was ready for it with his trusty katana. The fight had been going on for about 20 minutes. 
It was two on one. None of them saw Cairo Sejiro move around behind them. To them, they probably thought I was just moving out of the way, but I was actually setting up to where their blind spot was. I already had a full, uh, a full five stage plan ready to take everyone out and anybody else who got involved just in case. That's just the way I do things. There's a little pull standing between him and there, and there's him, him, him. If he had gone on me, I was planning to go in completely, drop the sword down, and then completely cut it, completely gape, gape him open. I think that video talked for itself. I don't think I need to say any more on that. But you know what, guys? I hope that you all have an awesome day. I hope you like this video that I made. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscription. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Again, guys, I love making these types of videos. I hope that you all have an awesome day. I will see you guys later.